Well, this vehicle is running for North American Utility Vehicle of the Year. Yeah. And we're both jurors. Yep. And I, I got my vote on this. We're here in Faro, Portugal. Yes, it is beautiful here. And uh, we've had the opportunity to drive the new I-Pace. There, there are a lot of people online, and, and we get a lot of comments from you at home uh, on other forms of social media, all of the ones that we're on, and Twitter and Facebook and everything else, where they say, you guys are anti-green cars. And no, we're not. No, I, I, I drive a diesel, which is, not, which is greener than gas. Well, sure, but my thing is that I'm not against green cars. I'm against shamsters, shucksters, yes. charlatans, people who are gaming the system. This car moves the whole game out. I mean, this is, you know, we, we talk about game changers. Right. This is a game changer. You no, know, it's funny, Jaguar did that with F-Pace and we said it was a game changer. Do you remember that? Yes. And it was. Look at the sales for Jaguar. They're crazy all over the world. They're even up in the U.S. Yeah. So things have changed oh, a lot. In the US. And now the E-Pace and the I-Pace is on the same chassis, but it's aluminum instead of steel. Yeah. And well, there's a combination on the E-Pace. So anyway, tell us if you if you drive like we do. Here, or you here just are the drive. pieces. Let's save this for the end. Let's go ahead and drive it first. All right, I want to show you some of the aerodynamics that make this car really cool. I like and that. And you wanted to talk to me about the interior as well. Yes. Okay. All right. We'll do all of that stuff and uh, more on the Jaguar I Pace from Portugal. Ah. Let's go. Let me tell you something about this Jaguar I Pace. The biggest sea change difference for me is that this is not a hobby car that's put together by a hobby company in a hobby environment where they generate a lot more press than they generate results. This is a proper automobile that has been crafted by a proper automobile company into a proper driver's car. The performance is there. The, God, you look at the seams in the car, they're all even. You look at the materials on the inside, they're all the right stuff. Everything that's in here screams Jaguar. It screams luxury to you. This is the first time that I've sat in an all-electric vehicle where I don't have range anxiety and I'm not sitting here worried about it. And I'm, I'm just enjoying the driving experience. I, I, I like the instrumentation. The Navi system that comes up both right in front of me and on the center screen is really nice. Everything about this car is impressing me. So we decided to stop to get a bottle of water because they didn't have any. They gave us metal bottles, which is great, but how much water is in there? That's the right. Get it right. Not enough for me. So besides the fact this is pre-production, it's an electric car, it is drawing a ton of head turning. People have stopped us in parking lots, at intersections. Tons of kids and people of all walks of life see how cool this car looks. And it does. As far as this vehicle being electric, I have to say, very impressive. Everything that's missing on a Tesla is here. From the great audio system, heated cooled seats, four-way climate control, gargantuan beautiful glass roof lumbar support on both sides yes great visibility how many white power see 18 beat that tesla everything from the flat loading floor in the rear to everything about this vehicle more legroom more headroom even in the second row because you're able to stretch the wheelbase and in doing so because there's no engine and there's no components in the middle they have been able to give you more space all the way around over the E-Pace. So again, fantastic. I'm a huge fan of the Meridian Audio and that it's completely customizable. Uh, they call it like the pilot's deck, they have a name for it, but basically everything is in front of you, totally customizable, color, and you know, what more could you need? Center stack is adjustable. You can put the information you want either at the top or at the bottom. The controls are easy to use. Everything about this car was thought out. It's not a gigantic iPad that distracts you or a computer 
like we've got a Tesla with all kinds of problems. This is a crafted vehicle, not just built, it's crafted. And that's what I think Jaguar does. I think Paul agrees with me on that. So just as the, the, the computer took you up the hill, the computer is now going to take me down the hill. Now, hill descent is not something that's brand new to a lot of different brands. It, it was first introduced to me on a Land Rover. Oh gosh, had to be 10, 12 years ago, I guess. But uh, going up was kind of cool. So now we're gonna go down and we've got some other whoop de doos that we're gonna run through down here. And you can select the speed that you want to go up or down by using the toggle right here for the cruise control. So this is where they had it pre-programmed. I'm going to trust them. I really love the muscular styling of the I-Pace. And this is very aerodynamic. It's so aerodynamic that I actually said to one of the Jaguar executives, if the I-Pace looks like the E-Pace in the future, and this had a gas drive line, there'd be one in my garage. But I have to show you how intelligently, how really detailed the crafting is on this car. They went to the max and it was a clean slate. And I want to start off by showing you like the grill. Typically your grill is just a front grill. No big deal. That's all it is. Well, this grill actually has, it controls the air coming from the front, comes out through the hood. So it controls the air and keeps the front end down. Because the idea is the slipperier this car is, the less energy it takes to propel this car. So aerodynamics are so important on a car like this to get the most life out of a battery. And the other thing is the air ducts here control the side air. You can see how smooth it is here. The air comes out right here on the back side. And there's some, we hopefully have some video to show you this. The handles are smooth, just like in the Velar, very smart. Smooth lines, no resistance, cuts through the air quicker. This rear wing is designed to be literally have air keep the rear end of the car down. So every single component, including this little splitter in the back, is meant to keep the rear down, make the car really slippery when going through the wind. And the secret to that is the fact that it is a clean slate. Now, I really love the muscular results that this gave them. That may have not been their intention, but the fact is this is a modern, sexy, crafted vehicle that is not at all what you would expect and the fact that jaguar built it it's not the same as some of the other products you may see on the market this is really well designed when i was a 16 year old boy the most important part of a car was the back seat <laughs> and, and now that i'm more than 16 it is still sometimes but for different reasons obviously this car has remarkable now i'm 6'3 this is at a comfortable distance back for the for the right front passenger and here i am and i've got plenty of room here but the thing that that you need to take a look at here is what you're being wrapped in uh, not only is there tons of headroom in here and tons of leg room but the materials that are being used and the accessibility for things you've got a full row of uh, power and connectivity outlets here uh, heated seats in the back even, even the styling, as you look at the seat backs, I mean, this looks like a, a Recaro racing seat would have looked like 10 years ago, or not even 10 years ago. It's a beautifully crafted shell. The feel of it is rich. Uh, the stitching, you know, it, it just wasn't, you know, squished up plastic, and I said, okay, Phil, put it in there. Uh, it didn't at all. This folds down, and of course, uh, uh, great mounting brackets for child seats as well. This comes down into a, into a nice cup holder as well. Let, let me show you the trunk too. So here, 
you think to yourself, okay, it looks like a mid-sized CUV. Look at the room that you've got in here, and you can fold down those back seats as well so that you've got from here all the way to the seat backs of the front seats to, to work with, if you wish. So there's lots of room for whatever you want to put in here. Down here is a little hidden storage area. If, uh, if you saw our excursion on uh, the Volvo V60 in Barcelona, you will understand why we now pay particular attention to hidden places in cars to put stuff. Because, well, watch the review and you'll find out. A lot of you may have heard the uh, phrase, uh, put a cork in it. And, and, you, and you don't really know where cork comes from, other than from the end of a wine bottle. Well, here in Portugal, it's one of their, their greatest products, and this is natural cork. This is what natural cork looks like. And if you look here, you can see that this is how it's harvested. But you can see this is the tree here. They'll take a tree, and I really don't know the genus of the tree, but what it will grow to about a height of about eight feet. They'll cut a ring around the top and then strip this from there down, and then the tree is protected all the way. So with all of the things that I have seen in my life, I never knew where cork came from. And now I feel like I'm on a PBS special. So that's it. So put a cork in it. So the car is, is impressive. Um, oh no, impressive was this morning when we first saw it. After driving it, we've, we've moved on to orders of magnitude beyond impressive. what is that? Well, I don't know that it has a word or it has a gradient that, that has its own specific nomenclature, but I will say that I'm damn impressed. I am as well. Which is one step beyond <clears throat> darn impressed. Well, this vehicle is running for North American Utility Vehicle of the Year. Yeah. And we're both jurors. Yep. And I, I got my vote on this. Well, you the know, e it's... The E-Pace does too, hey, though. I love you know the E-Pace. It's June. I know who knows what else we'll be driving. Yeah, we don't know what else, right which now, is why you need to subscribe to right, our channel. Right now, this is definitely a like, contender. Yeah. The only thing I wish I, this car had, I mean, it literally has everything. One thing, wireless charging for my phone. Yeah. How about you? You know, and I was surprised too, because there's room for it. And there's a perfect spot yeah, for there's, it. There, you could put two phones. When, when we looked at it, we said, well, that's got to be where it is. Yeah, and it wasn't. And, and it wasn't. It, it was just, you know, a place to put a pack yeah. of gum. But well, there's tons of storage in the doors and the center console. I mean, there's just so much room for everything. And the capability of this vehicle on road, off road, and on the track is impressive. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being with us again. We're on all, right. all forms of social media. All the links are down below. So, so yeah. find us. We need finding. We need saving. So you help need us. saving. I do. Okay. <laughs> Take care.